Hi everybody, my name is Lindley Ashline and I'm so excited to announce that I'm going to be the staff photographer for Camp Heal in September. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about me and then I'm going to talk about camp. Uh, I am a body positive photographer in Seattle and I work with every physical body as equally beautiful and equally worthy and equally valid. I work particularly with uh, folks in larger bodies who don't tend to be seen in the media as much or in publications as much. Uh, and so uh, people with bodies like mine, bodies larger than mine, we're not used to seeing our own bodies. And so I am particularly uh, encouraging of folks in larger bodies to come work with me. Um, but it's very much about, uh, about seeing each body as beautiful. I don't minimize bodies. I don't erase bodies. I don't Photoshop bodies. Uh, I just celebrate them as they are. So that's me. You can find me at lindleyashline.com or sweetamaranth.com. And I want to talk a little bit about Project Heal, which is the organization that is, uh, that is holding Camp Heal. Uh, this is Heal, H-E-A-L, as in healing, uh, recovering. And Project Heal is, their mission is to help all people suffering from eating disorders access full recovery. And it's just so different and so, so good to see an organization that is prioritizing all kinds of bodies in eating disorder recovery, um, there is, we have this image of, uh, of people who have anorexia as being in very thin bodies and people who have binge eating disorder in fat bodies. And that's what we see. We don't see anything outside that. Uh, and people in any, people in bodies of any size can have any type of eating disorder. Uh, fat people get anorexia too. Thin people have binge eating disorder. There is no, uh, there is no body size that is indicative of an eating disorder of a particular one. And Project Heal is the first organization that I have ever come across that's been aware of that and has been helping a little bit to break that stereotype and to really support bodies of all types in recovery. Uh, they are at theprojectheal.org. And what they do, they don't directly treat eating disorders. What they do is they make it possible for people to get treatment. Uh, they fundraise and award grants for inpatient treatment and they have this treatment access program that helps people uh, navigate that uh, if you have insurance um, they help you navigate getting treatment with the insurance that you have uh, and if your insurance cuts out they help you stay in treatment um, and i believe they also help people without insurance access treatment as well so they make those connections and they they really make it possible uh, for people who may not otherwise be able to get treatment to get treatment and that is so so important so I am really impressed by what they do. So Camp Heal is, uh, is Project Heal's first annual camp event. Camp Heal is not an eating disorder treatment experience in itself. It's an enrichment camp. It celebrates the journey of those who are in strong eating disorder recovery uh, and also gives support for people who need some extra support and help around body acceptance and self-care. Uh, it's for adults 18 plus and teens 14 plus with a, a parent or guardian. Uh, it is going to be in Angeles National Forest from September 27th through 29th, 2019. And uh, Angeles National Forest is outside LA in Southern California, and I'm sure it's gorgeous. And this is gonna be really cool because it's this combination of like a traditional uh, camp experience, like you might have if you did Girl Scouts when you are little, like Girl Scout camp, uh, and, uh, and sort of body image supportive activities and, and treatment supportive activities. and. Uh, they're they're going to have various camp counselors and some fun traditional camp activities like a campfire and a talent show and jewelry making and, and all the things that you might associate with, uh, with camp. And uh, I'm betting, I don't know it's not officially on the program yet, but I'm betting there will be some, some body positive yoga too. And one of the really cool things about this camp event is that they are deliberately using this, again, to help break these stereotypes of who who has an eating disorder, what kind of body, what kind of ethnicity has an eating disorder. And they're bringing in camp counselors, um, anyone who's, who's kind of staff associated with this event is a camp counselor. Um, they're bringing in counselors who, uh, who defy those stereotypes or who, who have different kinds of bodies, different marginalizations that we don't often see represented in, in treatment spaces. Um, and so I and my fat body, uh, when I say fat for folks who don't know me, um, I'm using that as a neutral descriptor. Uh, I have reclaimed that for myself and so I describe my body as fat in the same way I might describe myself as average height. Um, so at any rate, my fat body and I will be there taking photographs 
and uh, and my understanding is that some of the other counselors are going to be in bodies that that you don't necessarily see uh, represented in treatment spaces. So I'm really excited about this. And as part of this video, they have asked me to uh, to answer some camp type questions, uh, and so these are kind of fun. So so uh, so one of these things is. Uh, what you would be most likely to wear at a camp. And I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna tell you what I will not be wearing. I will not be wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> and it is not, it's not because I'm ashamed of my body. It is not because, uh, because I don't think fat bodies should appear in public in bathing suits. Uh, in fact, I recently did a, um, a product review of a specific type of panties that were designed for fat bodies. And in that, I happily appear in bra and panties. <laughs> So, so if you see me not wearing a bathing suit at camp, it will not be because I'm not comfortable doing so or because I don't want to represent. It will be because I'm really scared of water I can't see through. I got stung by a jellyfish when I was a kid and before that I had no fear of the water whatsoever. And the jellyfish kind of changed things and so I'm working on this water phobia but I probably won't be working on it at camp. So you will not see me in a bathing suit, almost certainly. If you do, it'll be a special case. Uh, but you will see me in, you know, in clothing like this, kind of athletic clothing, casual clothing, um, because I will be mostly behind a camera. Uh, you will see me wandering around at various camp activities, taking photos. And I want to talk about that for a minute, too, because I think when we're in spaces where we feel vulnerable and where we feel um, where we're having fun, but we don't necessarily want to be on on stage or on the spot um, and particularly in a workshop where we might be doing something that's particularly vulnerable or particularly sensitive. Uh, we don't necessarily want to have somebody in the corner going click, 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 click. And so uh, so the, uh, the, the Camp Hill folks and I are going to decide in advance which spaces and which workshops are camera friendly and which are cameras off limits. And so throughout the camp, I will be respecting that. And I think we're gonna mark it in the program, don't quote me, um, but there will be some kind of visibly uh, marked differentiation between uh, a camera space and a non-camera space so that if you're attending uh, that way you always feel safe nobody's ever going to sneak up on you when you're in a particularly sensitive moment with a camera without prior permission um, and so I stipulated that before I agreed to come uh, that we needed to have some way for people to still feel safe while also getting some fun camp photos. Um, so I just want you to be aware of that, that, that we're, very, uh, we're very serious about that and we're planning that in advance to make sure that you feel safe. My favorite camp memory is definitely campfire songs. I know it's super cheesy, but I loved campfire songs. I loved them both for the campfire because I was super into Girl Scouts. Uh, I was attending Girl Scout camps. Uh, and I was super into both the campfire, the physical aspect, because I was really, I liked reading survival stories and I liked, like I learned about how to set rabbit traps as a kid and I never actually did it, but, but I was super into outdoorsy stuff. So, uh, so actually the, the physical fire was really cool. Uh, and, and then also I really enjoyed the singing. I'm quite musical. Um, I, I, um, I have taken voice lessons in the past as an adult, and so the music was very special to me too. Uh, so that's my favorite camp memory. Uh, but I think what I'm looking forward to most at Camp Heal is the talent show, because I really love, like we see as adults, we see people's public personas, we see them at work, or we see them at, at grad school, or we see them at wherever, church, but we don't, we don't see their hobbies necessarily, unless we're like close Facebook friends. We don't see their hobbies, we don't see, uh, like a lot of folks, because I haven't taken voice lessons and performed in a few years, a lot of folks don't know that I sing. Um, and so I can't wait to see what everybody's hidden talents are. Like who, you know, who does baton twirling and who tap dances and who, who does stand up comedy. I cannot wait to see what people come up with. If you're interested in registering and joining us and hanging out with us, come hang out with me. Uh, it is on September 27th through 29th in uh, outside Los Angeles. And you can get there to register at bit.ly slash camp heal. And then as B-I-T dot L-Y slash C-A-M-P-H-E-A-L. Hope to see you there.